Bionic Commando 2009 is a Steam and Xbox 360 video game featuring faith and furry gameplay elements and to twisted, hard-drinking tooth aches battling the evil robotic clashes of your anger and frustration. Let's talk about the worst things in the game with no harmony edges. You like to spam your gun? Well, you can't do that, because Gun Animal is limited. You like snipers with titular witty scope designs to hit with a flannel or shots? Well, you're in luck because they have so many enemies, and if you don't like weak, ambitious soldiers that only take three hits to kill, they have also have ones that have a full life meter bar to make you rage into the 21st century while punching a pyramid goat in the toasty face. You don't like it when you can't touch the corners or other areas? Well, guess what? They also have contaminated acid check checkpoints that you can't overpass or you'll automatically die in philosophy tattling ways. We also dine with robots. One is easy, two is going to make your countdown head trigger off, but the last type of robot is going to indicate your finger, troll your whole body into a vascular direction, as you witness bloody fumes and pain crawling over your skin, tearing your bones into eager madness, pillbox tantrums. This game is really spectacular and being difficult in a quirky, unfair way. It's not a game like Dark Souls where it's challenging in zany areas or bosses that can throw a deluxe punch with Super Smash Bros. name on it. This game is a clearly a hardcore gamer's dream that requires you to stay on your middle-aged toes as you clear the stage. By the way, not many checkpoints. I could say so much else what really is nasty tripping garbage that the developers put in this wrestling game of red flaming sensation, but I would be here for over 20 minutes tagging my time as a lead number log on back of Spencer's head. So let's get to the good. What I liked about this game is the torn buildings. No, because one more thing I need to leave on this review is the areas are repeated a lot in the beginning. So what do I have to say to praise this delightful heavenly clapping result is the world is huge. I mean, you can literally gaze everywhere, and it's beautiful to look at the glimpsing locations or set upon to do your mission on. I can literally mess around in the world and waste a lot of valuable time, but you can't do that because more enemies, more whiz computer idiots, making robots tougher than shocking hell. Another thing I like about this game is the boss battle, which is recently, pointedly, warm robot creature thingy. The boss battle is clamping with creativity, and I wish there was more of that odd sequence in the game. It is fun to claw hatch on grapple points in buildings, plus forests, or whatever structure waits for you. The music is the best part of the game, really a great pleasantly pondering soundtrack that is rare to boot up because of the game being lackluster and tragic hopeless dreams. So what I'm going to give this game, since the final boss is a major disappointment, the story is rugged into Umbrella fanfiction, and never soothes into great fun entertaining gameplay, I give this game an 8.0 slash 10. It's overall fair and a quack of swift slack of untrustworthy gameplay. This game has a lot of issues that need to be fixed, and combative enamel solutions, but it never gave it a, its all when we needed the true Bionic Commando after all. Love the Burrito Master.